Women FC TV with Adam Hinchwood looking ahead to Alfreton away in the FA Cup first round. Adam, how are you feeling going into this? No, yeah, we've um, um, had a good uh, week's training, got everyone back. Um, those that needed a bit more of a, a light session on Tuesday had that, and um, you know, the lads that needed to ramp it up a little bit done that, and yeah, then we'll get our work done, um, ready ready for Saturday. Um, so, yeah, it's obviously a, a great game to, to be looking forward to, um, and we'll go into it in a bit of form, like I say, the last three weeks we've been with, Played some really good stuff. Um, you know, showed um, a lot of determination to our play. We've um, defended well at times in in that period, apart from like a 45 minutes uh, at Hampton. So, yeah, we can't keep on um, going on about that. But uh, you know, it really hurt us that 45 minutes because other than that, I think we've been good. Yeah. So yeah, we look forward to it. look forward to the game. Um, like I say, uh, long old journey and it's a bit different. Travel on a Friday night. So. I think um, you know, we want to sort of aspire to and get used to doing um, by moving up the leagues, and yeah, so it's, it's a real trip to look forward to. Absolutely, and first time you've been in this stage in the competition for 24 years for yourself as a manager. First time you've reached this stage as well. How does it feel for you personally? Um, yeah, not not too too different at this sort of stage. We've got a few extra interviews and that to do, I suppose. Um, BBC wanted to do an interview and a Zoom and stuff and try to politely decline all of them really and just keep it as normal as possible. So not really felt too different. I think like obviously travelling up on a Friday night um, will, will feel a bit different. Um, you know, it's stuff that you know a few of us um, have been accustomed to doing. Um, but yes, um, other than that, it's not too much changes. Uh, you know, it's, it's a game that will be looking to to try and progress in and, and do well in and, and show a good account of ourselves but you know it's one that we can't sort of fear losing the game you know we've we've really got to go and attack it and and back ourselves and believe ourselves and I'm sure Alfreton will, will do the same. With it being National North it's a little bit uh, out of the remit for most of our fans could you tell us anything about Alfreton or anything you've picked up from how they play? Um, no, obviously a big big physical side, it's got a long throw, I think um, any sort of throwing that goes out in your half of the pitch it comes into your box, um, so it's something that we've we've got to get used to and, and deal with, um, you know, won't be too much playing up from the back, it'll be get it forward, they've got um, a big striker who's, who's good at holding the ball up, so you know, they play to their strengths, they get it forward, um, they surround bodies um, in and around that attack. Um, yeah, and then when they're there, they, they don't mess about with it too much, they look to look to play in the opponent's half and, and get it into the box as, as, as regularly as they can. So, you know, we've really got to defend our box well um, on Saturday. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a... It's a new new venue for us to go and play, a different approach, a different team, different style and you know we've we've got to show that we can we can adapt and, and deal with that. Looking at the squad and the team fitness wise, a lot of the boys have been back in training. How's the squad and how's the availability? No, oh, yeah, all good. Um, Greg's been back in training this week, so I'm hoping he'll be able to be available for the squad. Um, Jesse's back in after being away. Um, after the Hampton game, so he missed Bath, but he, he's back in training. Um, so, yeah, we've got got Zach back training now. He's, he'll be featuring the FA Youth Cup, but you know he'll be um, back available. So it's all it's all it's all moving along nicely. Obviously, we've got our long-term um, injuries uh, with Aaron and Alex Parsons, and um, Tutty's on his way back now as well. So. You know, gradually edging back to full fitness, which is obviously really good, and you know, it's got some some really good options and some tough decisions to make. Just to touch on Aaron and Alex. Whereabouts are those guys at, and has Aaron had an update since his injury? Um, yeah, he's he's had his results back from scan. Um, wasn't the best news on that. Um, it's looking like a, an ACL, so. Um, yeah, he's going to be out for, for the season. It's just a case of now seeing um, the best sort of protocol for him in terms of um, obviously he's had it a couple of times now to that same knee. So um, he's just speaking to a couple of surgeons and some specialists and, and see the, the best way forward in terms of the operation. Um, so yeah, a real sort of bad blow. Um, you know, he's, he's a player that. 
and a character, a person that we want around the football club. So, you know, we're just looking at um, a role that we can keep him within the club, um, whether it's you know looking after our loan players, whether it's you know a bit of scouting um, opposition and you know potential players for us, um, and also potentially working with like some of our youngsters as well. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a lad that we want in and around the group and you know, we want him at training on Thursdays to, to be in amongst the, the group and be our captain still um, and can still give us a lot. Um, and Alex Parsons does the same when he's about. Um, he's having a week's uh, rehab at the moment, um, but that's really going to boost him along, I think. I'm sure it's like 16 weeks after his off is the, is the key mark for, for Alex. Um, if he gets to that and he's all okay, then that's when I think he can start ramping up his uh, rehab and stuff like that. So um, he's progressing really nicely. But you know, the, the both of them are real sort of good characters, and you know, them kind of pers uh, people and personnel you want in and around and amongst the boys as often as you can. So the fact that they still do that offers us so much. Um, but yeah, it's obviously a big blow in terms of what you lose on the pitch, um, but to still have them in and around the, the place it is really good for the club. Yeah, massive blow. Um, wishing Aaron all the best. It's awful news for him. Um, obviously, though, he's got experience coaching with us before, so I suppose it's something that he could he could step into. Yeah, I think he's still really determined to get back playing. Um, you know, which shows you know one. Um, you know, what it means to play for this club for him um, uh, and and to the determination um, of him as an individual um, so a lot of people you know, the third time if he would say you know that the rigors that come with that and you know the the mental toughness that you need to, to come and come through that um, might not be for them but you know, he's, he's still really determined to, to get back on this pitch and, and, and lead us. Um, so, you know, as a club, we'll do all we can to, to try and help him through that. Um, but yeah, he's, like I say, he'll be he'll massive to, to have around and work with our youngsters and, and show them, um, you know, show them what, what it means. And, and, you know, he's a real good role model uh, for younger players to look up to and um, aspire to be like. 100%. Just to flip things back to Saturday then, just one final note on the support that will be coming up and the occasion of it. You're looking forward to seeing all the fans getting up there for Saturday? Yeah, definitely. That's, that's one sort of thing that you, you can't wait to see. Um, you know, I think there's two coaches going up from Worthing at, at least and there'll be people making their own ways up, there'll be mini buses going up and you know, this um, you know, what we want to try and create, um, you know, a bit of a buzz around the town um, with the FA Cup and, you know, we want to do all we can to sort of um, pay back all them people that have given up so much time and effort to, to come and support us. Um, and we'll definitely try and leave everything out there for them um, and show what it means to us as well and to them for uh, the appreciate of their support that they're they're making and the time they're making to, to come and support us um, and try and give all we can for them. Um, so yeah, there's been times where we've let them down on more than one occasion this year and you know, those, those times still hurt for us and we want to try and put it right on, on Saturday um, and just give a good account of ourselves and a true reflection of, of what we're about and you know, if we do that we know we're, we're a, a tough team to play against and we'll be doing our utmost to try and do that.